Well, good morning, everybody. I am downstairs once again with my paintings, my acrylic pours. I've done two more. The other ones, I have finished them, and I've also finished putting a nice uh, sealant over them, so they're just drying. Um, that big one I did looks amazing. What I'm going to show you right now is the other two I just did. Uh, they're a little different. Um, One's sort of similar to the one of the other ones I did, but not quite. So I'll show you. So let me switch this around. I hope everyone's having a great morning today on this Saturday. So what I did today, it was a, just a basic pour. And I used my acrylic paints uh, with just a water base. And as you can see, there's not a lot of cells, which is kind of nice on this one. We'll see what happens later. And I didn't use as much paint as I thought I would, so that's really good. I was able to actually judge the amount of paint I needed. That's a smaller, that's a smaller one. This one here I think is an 11 by 14. As you can see, it's, I did some lining in it. I did a little bit of design on this one here by using a uh, thin piece of uh, wood and uh, making these lines. I really like the colors. Again, it's a pastel -y. This one's very bright. You've got all the purples and uh, pinks, which I love, all mixing together with the blues. And then you've got the lighter colors mixing together, making all kinds of unique uh, designs. So those were the two I did today. Again, we've seen this one. That's ready to go. Now, this was the big one. It's actually been glossed over. I'm just waiting for it to dry. It turned, or the gloss to dry. It turned out really nice. And this was the second one. You see, it's kind of similar to that last one I did with the colors. But the last one, I think, has more blues and a few darker colors, darker pastel colors and more design. So that's what I've been up to today. It's a lovely day here. I really like the colors on this one. We'll see what it looks like when it's dry. It's Right now it's wet. And all these uh, paintings I'm doing mixed variations. Uh, I'm doing it with uh, water and the acrylic paint and a little bit of glue. I've got a couple types of glue that I'm using. Um, we've got the Elmer's. And again, I just found this. I'm going to try this. It's a white glue. And uh, we'll see if that works. I actually organized my paints, so <laughs> my table looks a little bit better. So kind of know where everything is. So I've got the uh, pre-mixed pouring paints here. This is all my gessos and my glues and my, uh, and my um, uh, um, gloss sealants. Uh, this one here is a nice gloss sealant. It's a medium. And then we've got a gesso here, a white gesso, so it would kind of look a little white. So I might try that as a base. And then we've got, of course, all my paints, acrylics, and all my tools. And uh, it looks a little more organized in the small space that I have. So that has been my day. I hope uh, everyone else is having a good day. And I hope uh, you have a good rest of the week, uh, and, and uh, I will show you the results of these two when they are dried. Again, it does take a day or two to dry. It took that big one a couple days to fully dry. So I will post this, and everyone can take a look. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or any colors that you might like to see me use, let me know, and I can certainly try that. And I will be posting this to my YouTube uh, my YouTube uh, channel, so uh, I might even do a live pour. I'm just not set up for that yet, but I think that's the next step. So again, thanks for watching everybody, and uh, blessings to everybody. We'll talk again after these paintings are done. I'll show you those once again.